Hello everyone, today I'll be showcasing you the computer game pass on Stargate Horizons. The computer access game pass is a fairly good game pass compared to its price. Uh, I recommend you have access to the control room to use it to its full extent. As you just saw, you just entered your uh, display name and your code which is done automatically. We have 9 uh, screens and 2 tertiary information under them the first screen is the base code base codes are used to uh, announce what is going on in the base i will be leaving a document in the description to describe what each do for example the code 5 is the act of combat and some of them like code 5 and code 9 occur automatically when there's like an event started for so example, if there's a rogue NID event, the code 9, there are rogue or compromised personnel, is activated. The second co second screen is the DEFCON screen. It's basically the same on the commanding officer's tablet. You can change the DEFCONs from here. Be it why there's a 40 second cooldown on both DEFCONs and base codes. Then we have the security cameras. Uh, there are, uh, there's a bug going on right now on uh, multiple servers that you cannot turn on the cameras. So I'll be using the CCT uh, tablet to show you how it's done. This is how it is. So for example, if I write camera 40, there are 40 cameras. As you can see, uh, I am in the power walls, my bug. And when I press back to 1, there's the gate room. Now, if I go on to show the other part now the map uh, the map is likely the one of the most useful parts of this we have you have two maps which are on the c3 door right outside the gate room maps disconnect after the gate shuts down and you can only control them if you dial to a planet that the mob is on as you can see, it can no clip through the doors. Sadly, it cannot go outside of the gate room as it, as it will result in abuse, as you can see. It can go up on the ramp and go through the stargates. Now, if I go out, we have the gate addresses, which uh, it like isn't necessary, but wait, what are they bugs? Give me a second, please. Right. There are also some information that can be seen on the screens when you turn them off. Let me try it on this one. Yeah, now as you can see, now there's the gate addresses. Normally, it would show the gate addresses, and you could scroll down on them. And another. Now, the next screen will be our. Uh, uh, gate info you can see which chevrons are locked chevron one chev there are seven chevrons but i mean there are nine chevrons on this target but a normal address is seven chevrons so uh and this will be green if the gate manages to lock all the chevrons it will also be green if there's an off-field dialing the gate radio this is purely cosmetic purposes as i know it does nothing um, you can use it for roleplay, I guess. And then, there is the IDC, which it is isn't. It is implemented in Area 52, if you know it. Uh, it's the, uh, the serious roleplay game. Uh, normally, there would be a, a name and the override and the transmission. Uh, status on the screen if the GDOs that SCSOC gets, which I might do a tutorial again. I mean, a, a showcase. And finally, we have status, status of forces. And this shows how many AFPU or like any team that isn't off builders and the off builders are present. And, the, and something, and as you can see now, if I do this, it will keep. But if I do that same thing on the map screen, it will not be there. So this is for only some of the tertiary screens. And let me turn this off. And one more thing you get 
but one thing you should keep uh you, know, you should remember that when there's a code like let's say uh give me a second yeah let's uh what when there's a code online like let's say code to medical emergency a medical emergency uh, all, of, the all of the tertiary screens will just become uh, the code and you cannot view them if you want to but you can still view the as you can see you cannot view gate addresses you cannot view gate info but you can still view base card and base code and defcon and as you can see there's a 40 second cooldown and if I now try to switch it down, there's still 15 seconds. And another thing that you should know that is when there is a self destruct is active, this will become a circle and that will be the countdown. And this will only and this will be on tertiary screens again. And if you want to clear the codes, you can just press this and that is it. And that's basically all for the tutorial. Thank you for watching, I guess. Uh, see you in the next video.